Right, when you've got a lot of um, operators together it's um, important to know how to process them and um, and uh, things like um, associativity for instance that means whether they're processed from uh, left to right or right to left and um, uh, the precedence controls what uh, gets done first in a way so uh, I'll give you an example that'll make it clear now here we've got um, uh, 2 minus 1 plus 3 minus 4 minus 1 oh, sorry minus 4 minus 1 and uh, that's all done left to right so 2 minus uh, 1 is 1 1 plus 3 is 4 4 minus 4 is 0 0 minus 1 is minus 1 so it's just straight left to right and exactly the same thing follows for these operators here the multiplicative ones so that's uh, multiply divide and uh, remainder so for example uh, 24 uh, divided by 2 is 12 12 divided by 3 is 4 4 fours are 16 um, 16 remainder on division by 7 would be 2 uh, 2 times 3 is uh, 6 6 times 2 is 12 12 remainder on division by 8 would be 4 so that's 4 um, it's an example to de demonstrate um, priority. So if you see an expression like this, what happens is um, these uh, um, multiply and remainder operators, they've got higher priority than the plus. So this thing gets worked out. So it becomes 1 plus, and then 2 times 3 is, uh, is uh, 6. 6 uh, remainder on division by 5 is 1. So it becomes 1 plus 1, which is 2. Okay, if you want to override the default priority, um, you can use a left bracket and right bracket, obviously, to do that. Like, for example, here, um, instead of being 1 plus 2 times 3, which would be 1 plus 6, it's 1 plus 2, which is 3, times 3, which is 9. And similarly here, for example, um, there's another override with subtracting 1 plus 2, which, so we're subtracting 3, from 5 given 2 rather than um, subtracting 1 and adding on 2. Uh, you can you can put them anywhere really. Uh, we're dividing by that times that rather than divided by 2 and multiplying by 3. And uh, redundant left and right brackets are okay as well. And if in doubt you can put them in like that. Oh uh, yeah that reminds me I should just mention one thing. Um, you know that uh, the uh, most negative number um, if you try and write that down as an ordinary decimal and put a minus sign in front of it that's quite okay but as a positive number of course it's not allowed and as a result of that if you put a pair of brackets around the number and as a literal this is put a pair of brackets around it and put a minus sign in front the compiler will give an error that's about it's about the only place I can think of where redundant brackets aren't really redundant and they uh, actually make a difference uh, right uh, uh, unary prefix operators um, yeah and postfix operators well I got um, higher priority than, than either of those two uh, these of course got a higher priority than plus or minus because if you get them in a, in a row it's uh, these which are done first before the plus and uh, they're processed uh, right to left, of course, rather than left to right. So uh, these are really all pathological cases. I hope no one ever sees code written like this. Um, <laughs> uh, this obviously isn't the way to write code. Um, let's see, i equals, uh, yeah, there's a space between there. So it's not minus minus, so it's minus space minus. So that 5, it becomes minus 5 minus, so it's right to left, plus, and then this string here, and that's B minus minus, plus, minus, plus, plus, minus, plus, minus, minus, like that. So it turns out to be that lot. So you can, you can interpret it quite easily. You know, this is, and you can see this is associated right to left and not left to right. Um, 
what have we got here? I equals um, all that lot, for example, would be an error because it would get interpreted uh, left to right. So it would be B plus plus, that's fine, plus 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 B. Okay, so that would be an error because the plus plus would affect that. So what, what happens, remember, is, is uh, one point I should mention is that the scanner or the uh, lexical scanner, when it when it uh, uh, when it uh, goes through your source code, that's the first part of the compiler. It always picks the largest group of symbols that it can find. So you see, it could say that's a plus, and that's a plus, and that's a plus, or separately, but it doesn't. It it grabs the largest number it could find because this, for example, the same number of pluses, but if it interpreted them like this it would be valid, a valid expression, but it doesn't. It grabs the largest number it can to interpret and group together. So that's why that, that would give an error, even though an alternative interpretation is, is um, perfectly valid.